Welcome back, generals. My name is Dr. Craven. This is some more Hearts of Iron 3 playing the World War One mod as the German Empire. Last episode, we got the Ottomans into the Central Powers, which actually unlocked the strategic effect because Germany, Austria, and the Ottomans are the original, the OG of the Central Powers in World War One. So yeah. It's, it's a very... They're central because they're all in the middle of the others, sort of. And Central Europe and stuff. Um, great army. Oof, we need 107 more brigades. We'll get that during the war. And Great Air Force needs 25 of those. Hmm. We're working on it. Naval battles, 100. Air battles, 100. Um, the Black Sea. We would need... A lot more territory around the Black Sea. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. There are some more strategic modifiers, but Italy, are you you are making your way down here now? They only need the alignment. The threat is there. Because they have really low neutrality. Should have maybe started that sooner. But... We'll get Italy possibly at some point as well. That will have us so much safer. Now I just need to find Bulgaria again. Bulgaria. Needs to, oh man, it's... 0 0.01 off. You need like one more tick of that going through. There we go. Armored car brigades and supply production advance. So that can be stopped. We don't actually need these at all. Um, these are all done. Bridging equipment instead of supply production. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not done until January. That's fine. There is more necessary for upgrades in the near future with artillery getting upgrades, but... Armored Car Brigade. Let's get started on the Light Tank Brigade. It's far ahead in the future, but the earlier we have it, the better. Uh, we need at least one in each for medium tanks to be unlocked. But yeah, we have armored cars now. Or at least we could build them now, I should say. Come on, Bulgaria. One more bloody tick of threat on Serbia is all we need. Do we still have spies in there? I hope so. Still increasing threat. Um, I can actually stop the threat increase. There we go, there we go. Invite the faction, very likely. Bulgaria have accepted an invitation to join the Central Powers. Perfect. Oh yeah, I'd like to anyone know... Oh right, they lost their wars a little bit hard. Yeah, we have them all now. The Ottoman army in the Caucasus, near the Caucasus, yes. Oh man, we have them all. Well, we have our first four, I should say that. Italy's coming. Is it? It's going fast, actually, their alignment. So as long as England is not like, yeah, we're going to force you now to join our side, we should be fine. Also, our next, next destroyer is nearly done. Yeah, getting into the war will drop my consumer goods even more. Probably need less supplies as well. We're producing a lot more than we're using, actually. We're still trading away supplies. Re Why to Nicaragua of all places? Cuba. 
He probably reestablished a big deal with them. Um... Oh, apparently the US is buying our supplies by the yeah, Russian Empire too. Franz Ferdinand is dead on Sunday the 28th of June 1914 at approximately 10.45 a.m. Franz Ferdinand and his wife were killed in Sarajevo, the capital of the Austria-Hungarian province of Bosnia and Herzegovina, by Gavrio Princip, 19 at the time, a member of Young Bosnia and one and one of a group of assassins organized by the Black Hand. Sarajevo. He had to go there, didn't he? Greece has quietly taken steps to align themselves to us. Italy's coming. We're a month away. A one month away. Oh, we have a section complete. Mosul wasn't connected with the Baghdad Railway until 1939. The Taurus Express rode in only until this site bin and beyond that haulage services were established, which transported passengers with carriages and later with cars to the cities of Kirkuk, Mosul, and Baghdad. So, some of the infrastructure here changes. I think that... Yeah, that's here. So we're basically making a high infrastructure area here. Of course, German infrastructure is pretty decent. Austrian Hungarian, not so much. Mm -hmm. Section completed. Um, so, what do we get? Lose infrastructure at level 1. Mandate of Syria and Lebanon has a claim on the province. Okay. Artillery, barrel, and shells advance. Let's go for... Site carriage. Make him faster. This will need more upgrades again. To upgrade all the uh, artillery in our army, which is by now quite a lot. 69, yep. But we need less consumer goods again, so that's good. Cruiser Warfare Advance. Ooh. Um, let's do the Destroyer Escort roll then. there we're almost at war will also give us a huge IC boost because we'll probably be able to enact a full industry focus section Talkuchak Samara is 384 kilometers long it was completed on the 15th July 1940 um, yeah there he is Akashat and Bakuba Where's Mosul then? Oh good, we're actually getting more upgrades done again. And I feel like I can drop this quite a bit now. <laughs> November. That will actually speed up because we're going to get efficiency soon as well. We're basically giving the Ottomans uh, better infrastructure going down into Iraq. I actually do control a large amount of land right now. Which province did we need again? Ploiesti. 
Yeah, oil refinery. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit's going down. Ah, the July crisis. They chose. Declare war on Serbia. Our MC has heard that honor the triple alliance. They chose honor the alliance. Italy is in the war. Austrian demands. They choose they will fight for independence. Mobilize against Austria-Hungary. They chose mobilize as their course of action. Shall we honor the dual alliance? Um, we kind of have to. Um, national decisions available. The Schlieffen plan. We can decide to enact a bold plan by a brilliant field marshal Count Alfred von Schlieffen dictating how to wear war with France. And I will do that on August 1st. Let's um, do our research first because now we can build marines. Nice. Cavalry, light artillery. Um, I believe we are at war. We are not at war yet? Ew. We are not officially at war yet, apparently. Um, production, let's... Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Consumer goods just dropped tremendously again. What we do need to do is right now mobilize. Fucking hell we need to mobilize. Like crazy. And it's going to require a lot of reinforcements. Anyway, on August 1914, Germany declared war on Russia. On the outbreak of war with its eastern neighbor, Germany put the Schlieffen Plan into action. When the German Empire began to mobilize on the 30th of July 1914, France, resentful of the German conquest of Alsace-Lorraine during the Franco-Prussian War, ordered French mobilization on the 1st of August. Germany declared war on Russia on the same day. The United Kingdom declared war on Germany on the 14th of August 1914 following an unsatisfactory reply to the British ultimatum that Belgium must be kept neutral. They would join the war anyway, if anything, because of what the um, Germans were doing with attacking France and the UK had an alliance with France. Uh, whoa, 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 that second one, interesting. Okay, so war with France and Belgium. We lose neutrality, we gain manpower, we gain money, we gain threat on all, we lose threat on the USA. Okay, we gain so much unity. Um, Belgium and Luxembourg will join the Triple Entente. Uh, threat, lose threat on the Union of South Africa. Lose 40 threat for them. Declare war on Luxembourg, Belgium, French Republic, the Russian Empire, United Kingdom. We get the Schlieffen plan, which means supply consumption goes up for one and a half months, but soft attack also goes up. War goal add in German French setup. War we'll defeat the English, defeat Russia, etc. etc. War with Montenegro. Serbia joins the Triple Entente. A surge of volunteers in the UK. Uh, Union of South Africa decides. Threat on the USA. Threat on the USA lost. Um, the only difference here is... You get more manpower for fighting the Dutch as well. Uh, we don't have our forces ready to take on the Dutch though. Question is, how are their victory? But they shouldn't have that many. They shouldn't. No. Um. I was not prepared for the possibility of war with the Dutch. That's for sure. Um. All of them. Okay, the Union of South Africa also joins the Entente. This does mean I can just go freaking around it. Bam, into Maastricht. Um, do they have a fort in Verviers? No, they don't. Do we? They are still in need of um, things. Okay. Oh, consumer goods needed is zero. Which is perfect. Our reinforcements will be needed tomorrow. Um, here we go. Heavy industry emphasis. Oof. Here. Seriously, now we need 19. Are you kidding me? Anyway, um, there has to a day has to go by though. Um, where are my non 
Oh, wow, they, they actually have less troops now. Okay, I need some, some of them that are not reserves to start the attacks. Start offense. Offensive maneuvers into Russian territory. You can go here. You can follow that way too. You can go there. Instantly flank attacks everywhere as well. That's good. Really good. Okay, so the first strikes on Russia are already active. Oh, they still have some more forces here now. But these are all, except for one, well, most of them are not um, reinforcements. Um, that is a river crossing that I would love to avoid. Okay, I do need to mobilize first. We are instantly under attack, though. Kate Mansholp. Oh no, the South Africans are attacking now. Let's go that way. Springbok and Steinkopf. Um, that's all. Oh, Walvis well, Bay is also part of them. Oh no, we're being attacked in our colonies now. Um, good. So, they did join. Okay! Italy automatically joined. There might be an event then. Start the Zeppelin campaign. Zeppelin bombing campaign on the UK started in 1915. While commonly accepted as a failure against military targets, it certainly affected morale when it was realized the war could reach beyond the front and beyond the front and hit your homeland. Okay. Um, we have a scout. Ground attack. From the air. They won't expect this. No, they seriously won't expect that. Also, um... Strategic bombing in a large area. Go ahead, Mr. Zeppelin. You too. Different area-ish. Strategic bombing. Do the same. Bam. Go. Go ahead. Have some fun with that, Zeppelins. Okay, so the French, uh, we've won the Battle of Plock, we've won the Battle of Lipno. Japan, allied to the United Kingdom, proposes to stay neutral in exchange of all of our Pacific. Um, sure. Uh, we do have troops in foreign territory now, though, but I'm happy with that, actually. I don't care. Um, I cannot even disband them right now. The Ost Asian Schwadron, you guys can go and rebase over here. I'll check on these two in a second. Um, detach all, disband all of them. It's not our land anymore, so we don't need the units. Um, seriously? Hmm. I cannot do that. Because apparently it's stuck right now. Um, let's see, where is it? I need you. Okay, I guess it's now completely stuck there. Oh well. I wish I could disband it then. It's, it's an annoying part of the... Um, Of the theater system. Anyway, we've won our first battles up here. Like, oh, they probably weren't um, mobilized either. 
going to help. Um, we actually have recovery here too. Oh, we can upgrade them now to marines as well. You guys move in there. Um, one here, the others there. Oh, apparently we get to run in here for free. One of you attack that way. And both of you can go there. Good. We are at war. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.